everyone welcome back to my channel today's video is a makeup tutorial on the look that I'm wearing right now I am going to a wedding tomorrow so I thought that it would be fun to kind of play around with makeup and come up with a look that would be good for a wedding guest so hopefully this will help you guys out if any of you guys are going to a wedding soon since I used the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette in this tutorial I thought that this would be a perfect opportunity to let you guys know that my new giveaway starting now is for the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette if you guys do want to win the third naked palette then all you need to do is just be subscribed to my channel I will have all the information about it in the description box below this video and if you guys want to see how to get this wedding guest makeup look then just keep watching First, I'm going to start out by prepping my skin with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Skin Booster, which is basically just a very hydrating serum because my skin is quite dry. And then I'm gonna go on to concealing. I'm using the Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer, and this is gonna go underneath my eyes to brighten everything up, as well as any other high points of my face that I really want to um, brighten or just conceal any redness, and I'm gonna blend that all out with a beauty blender. For foundation, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and my shade currently is Nude. And I love this foundation so much. It gives a very natural looking finish, which I really love, but at the same time it stays for a long time. So that's why I decided to use this one for a wedding guest makeup because most likely you will be there for a very long time and you'll want it to last a long time. And to set all of that in place, I'm using my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Diffused Light, and this has a sheen to it, so it does set your skin, but it doesn't completely mattify it, which I really like. And to fill in my eyebrows, I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Taupe, and I actually bought this a long time ago, and for some reason I just didn't use it. And I started using it recently, and I'm kind of obsessed with it. I think it might actually start replacing a lot of the pencils that I use, because it lasts so long, which is why this is perfect for a wedding. And as always, I will set my eyebrows in place afterwards with the Essence Lash and Brow Gel. I'm going to prime my eyelids with the Essence Eye Heart Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base. I usually don't like to prime my lids, but for weddings, I just feel like it is a step that is pretty beneficial. And I'm going to use my Naked 3 palette, as I already mentioned, and I'm taking this first color called Limit, and this is going into the outer third of my eyes as well as into the crease and just making sure it's very blended. I'm basically just using this as a transition color because I'm gonna go in with Nooner, which is a darker version. It's uh, matte shadow as well and this is just going to go mainly into the outer third of the crease but slightly into the crease as well and just basically adding depth and building it up to the darkness and level that i want to and i'm going to darken it up even more just on the very outer corners with the shade factory and this is a shimmery shade but i really don't mind especially considering we already built up a lot of the depth with the matte shades anyways and it still looks quite flattering and i'm also going to go ahead and blend it out with that first shade just to make sure sure everything is really soft and there aren't any harsh lines. Next, I'm going to subtly highlight my brow bone with the shade Strange. This is also a matte shadow, and I'm just putting this right onto my brow bone to slightly highlight. And then I'm gonna go in with a color Liar, and this is going all over my lid. I had actually previously used a different color and I didn't like it, so I wiped off as much as I could and put on Liar on top of it. I really like the shade. I think it's so pretty and really flattering for a lot of different skin tones as well, so I decided to go with that. And then I'm going going to apply Nooner onto the crease a little bit more just to deepen it up and kind of connect the whole look together and make sure it's cohesive all the way around. Then I will also apply a little bit of the same color onto my bottom lash line a little bit, but I'm leaving the inner third of my eyelids blank because we will be highlighting that. And to darken up the lash line slightly, I'm going to go in with the color Dark Side, and this is just gonna go right into my lash line, basically, to darken it up a little bit more. And then for mascara, I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, which is my favorite at the moment. It is so nice, but I'm not doing this to build up any volume. I'm basically just coating them in black because I will be putting on some false lashes, and then I'm gonna also add some of the mascara to my bottom lashes as well. And the lashes that I will be using are from Eyelure, and these are my favorites. They're the number 117, and they always come in a three pack, I'm pretty sure. I get mine from Ulta, and it's like the perfect wispiness. They are just really great. So I will go on to the rest of my face makeup, and I'm first using the Chocolate Soleil bronzer, I think. And this is from Too Faced. It's a really nice color. It's also matte, and I'm basically just 
bronzing up the perimeter of my face. And for blush, I'm using one from Charlotte Tilbury. I will have the name of this in the description box as well as everything else. I think the color is super pretty. I love a flush of pink, especially for weddings. And then I'm going to highlight using the Makeup Forever highlighter. I'll also have the name of this in the description box below, but I really like this one because it has a pink iridescent sheen, which I also think is so pretty. I always love pinky purple tones, especially for weddings. And I'm also going to be putting this into the inner corner to highlight as well. For my lips, I'm using a new product from Maybelline. These are called Superstay Matte Inks, and I really, really love these. There are so many different colors. They're really pigmented, and they last forever, which is why I think these are perfect for events, but I kind of wish I used one of the pink shades that they have for this look, but I still think it turned out okay. And you can go ahead and set your makeup with setting spray if you like, and that's it for this makeup. And that's it for my wedding guest makeup look. I hope that you guys liked it. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and make sure that you do subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet, especially if you want to win the Naked 3 palette. So I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.